Okay, you guys, today I'm coming to you from my backyard because it is my happy place and I thought that fitting since today our challenge is around emotional freedom. It doesn't matter how physically fit you are or how wealthy you are, everybody has emotions and life is really just a series of pain and joy. So we wanna do what we can to increase those moments of joy and kind of regulate those moments of pain. Now I don't want to discount that there is a lot of chemicals and hormones that go into our emotions, but let's look at the things that we can control so that we can really help produce as many moments of joy as we can. It's once said that men are the, that they might have joy, so let's try to really create an environment where we can do that. So there's three things I wanna look at today. We wanna change our thoughts. Now this is easier said than done because we have some belief patterns that are instilled in us from the experiences that we have. We take those experiences, we process them, we have a reaction and it creates a belief cycle for us. Um, and so we wanna really look at creating positive affirmations. If there's something that you really struggle with, then just Google the affirmation that you need. Maybe you really have a lot of emotions tied around guilt as a mom, then maybe just Google like happy mom affirmations and listen to that. Or you can write down some of your own, the thoughts and feelings that you really want, and you can record your own voice and put it to music and listen to those affirmations. So I recommend doing at least 10 minutes a day of affirmations. If you really wanna help increase some repatterning in your thoughts, then maybe do 10 minutes in the morning as well as 10 minutes at night. Um, and we really want to help just create those, those thought processes that really fuel gratitude, joy, uh, and love. Everybody deals with hard things, but it's really our thought process and reactions around them that really equates how happy we are. Um, next, we wanna look at number two is managing our expectations. So many things can create extra frustration when we have very high expectations. When you look at something and, and you can see it happening in your mind, your mind cannot always differentiate between uh, your thoughts and your reality. And so if you expect something and it doesn't happen the exact way that we want it to, then we can feel real frustration and, and anger and a lot of different emotions when really there was still a lot of good that happened. So just kind of look at managing your expectations so that you don't feel disappointment on a daily basis. The third one that we wanna look at is just creating that environment for happiness. So if you know that you get angry when you're in a hurry, then do some preparation so that you, you aren't leaving things to the last minute. You're leaving 10 minutes early. You're, you're patient, you're not getting frustrated with people. Or um, if you're not getting enough sleep, make sleep a priority because that really has a huge impact on our emotions. I also really love to use some lavender oil on my pillow at night just to help enhance that sleep or sometimes the Serenity Blend, which I'll add in my email that I send you guys. You also wanna look at the nutrition you're putting in your body, making time to plan those healthy meals or healthy snacks, pre-cutting them ahead of time so that you're grabbing something that's healthy instead of some junk food that maybe can give you an emotional crash. Also making time for that exercise is really important. Now what I like to do is open the windows, making sure that I'm getting lots of sunshine in my house, play music that sets a mood that you want, and then I love to diffuse essential oils. We have so much control over our environments. We can't control everything that happens in our life, but we can control our environments. Just this last week, we had to say goodbye to our 13-year-old Boston Terrier, and that was hard. We couldn't really control that, but we were able to use some, some oils, like this console, to help with our emotions and managing and just kind of consoling those feelings. I have um, this emotional aromatherapy kit right here with me that I utilize all the time just by adding a couple drops into a diffuser so I can change the mood and atmosphere in my home. Whether I need some motivation, I, I will diffuse the motivator, there's cheer, there's passion for when we're kind of feeling lethargic. Uh, forgive, that's a really big one for forgiveness with ourselves and forgiveness with others, um, feeling peace, in a world that seems to have so many different stressful things coming at us at all at the same time. So it might sound a little bit hokey that we can manage our emotions with essential oils, but how that works is when you breathe something in, it goes to your limbic system, your olfactory bulb, and that's the part of your brain that regulates your memories. So you can smell things and you know immediately sometimes it bring back, brings back those memories. It regulates your hormone production, and your mood, and so it can be very, very powerful and helping with enhancing those emotions so that we feel more moments of joy and less moments of pain. Thanks for joining me.